hi this is activity 4 using spreadsheet software Angela is considering changing the way ticket prices are calculated she has set up a spreadsheet and entered some test data she has called her spreadsheet charge now she's trying here to model a real-life situation where she has the current prices and then maybe she increases the prices and sees how she will get better income so we call this modeling now to start with to put the title I am going to select these cells over here for first cells and merge and center suitable title would be prices for inter a y r which is the name of the airline and that's it for the first task next one says sort the data in the spreadsheet so that the cities are in ascending alphabetical order now here are the cities now we select the table we can go to sort sort a to z and this is now in alphabetical order next thing asks us to format the spreadsheet so that all the data is visible now if we look at the table you can see that some titles are not visible so we're gonna double click on the border so we can see everything very well okay perfect then it tells us format the spreadsheet to improve readability and layout now titles should always be a little bit bigger so I'm gonna increase the size here here are heading titles and we can put them in bold format them to bold open the cells so we can see everything clearly total can also be formatted in bold and you can always add some additional formatting like shading see how it changes shading for the data in the table itself or you can use borders in different manners but this should be enough for this task now the next task is SS2 Angela wants to know the income from flights to each city enter the heading current income in the next available column so current income enter a formula to calculate the current income so the formula comes over here and it tells us how the formula is its current price times customers for the first city for the first city so always when we write a formula or enter a formula we have to have the equal symbol current price is over here times customers and we press enter then it tells us to replicate the formula for the others for the other cities so we can click here we have this formula now to replicate it down we click in the corner and drag down the column the next task is to enter a formula to calculate the total current income so we have the label over here so it must be to appear over here we can click and drag we have to have this column also no sorry this cell also selected we click on auto sum and we have already calculated this whole column you can see how the formula is written equals sum e4 to e10 uh, now we're on task SS3 Angela wants to know the ticket prices for a flight to each city if she charges 0 0.15 per kilometer enter this value in a suitable cell and add a label now we can choose any suitable cell here around the table I'm gonna put it over here so 0 0.15 and the label which describes it would be per kilometer okay now on the same row as the other column headings enter gonna make this bigger new ticket price and new income so we're adding two new column headings new ticket price and, and new income 
Then it tells us, enter a formula which uses an absolute cell reference to calculate the new ticket price, which is distance, times charge per kilometer for the first city. Okay, so distance equals distance times price per kilometer, which is here, enter. Now, in this case, there, this is a situation where we do not want the spreadsheet to adjust the cell reference when we copy the formula from one location to the other. And this is the reason why we add absolute cell reference. So I'm going to have to select A13, which is the price per kilometer, and I'm going to press F4 on the keyboard, which enters these dollar symbols in between the cell reference. When I press enter, the ticket price is correct and you can see how this appears here in the formula bar. Now when I will copy down the column, it will always use 0 0.15 to multiply with the distance. If I would not have entered the absolute cell reference, it would have calculated the next cell which is the relative cell referencing and that's wrong in this case. Okay, so the next task is then enter a formula in a suitable cell to calculate the new income new income is over here from the new ticket price for the first city. So that would be equals the new ticket price and we're going to multiply it with the customers. enter. Then I am asked to replicate these formula for the other cities. So that means I replicate this formula down and this one. The next task is to enter a formula in a suitable cell to calculate the total new income. Now here's the income and the total new income is the same as we did before. We select all the way down to the cell and press auto sum and here we have the new income. Now we have already finished SS3 and in SS4 Angela wants to know the minimum charge per kilometer so that she receives the same income from the new ticket price as from the current ticket price. Use the spreadsheet to find the minimum charge per kilometer. Now this question is testing if you know how to change values so that other values are affected also. And Angela wants to know the minimum charge per kilometer, this number here, we have to change it in some way, so that she receives the same income from the new ticket prices. Here is the new ticket prices. She wants to get the same income as she had by the current income. That means that by changing this value, it will affect the new income and we have to change it until it becomes the same as the current one. So I'm going to change it to 0 0.13. Okay, we're still not reaching the current income, 0 0.12. And here we have the exact same income. So by changing this number over here, you can see how it affects the spreadsheet and the numbers. And then she can also see if she increases the price to 0 0.18, let's say, how much she will be getting in income. And I'm going to change this back to 0 0.12 because that's the correct answer for that task that we just did. The next task is then SS5. And there Angela wants, to, wants a chart to compare the current ticket prices and the new ticket prices for the cities. It tells us to create the chart and make sure it has suitable titles and labels. Okay, so, oh, I skipped one question in SS4. So format the spreadsheet so that all currency values show the currency symbol and two decimal places. Okay, we've got here current or current price. I'm gonna hold down control and select current income, then the new ticket price and new income. I should have also, of course, included this total. 
and this should also be in currency now I'm gonna see here what I have in currency I have United States euros but this is for the United Kingdom so I'm gonna select the pounds here we got the currency now I have two decimal places already so I don't need to change anything if it was like this before sorry with only one decimal place then it's easy to change it over here okay now we got two decimal places now for the chart okay so she wants to compare prices for the cities of course so we're gonna select the cities and we want the current price to compare it with the new ticket price so we select this column here when we've selected what we need to appear in the chart we go to insert we select column and you can choose any of these I'm just gonna select the first one here okay now I have the chart but I don't have the suitable titles and labels so I'm going to click on it, here I have layouts and they automatically have probably what we need if we find the, and this one looks to be what we need. It has a chart title and now we have to change it and this is comparing the new and the old ticket prices so a good name would be Now, as this is a little bit too big, I'm going to go to Home. I'm going to decrease the title size. Then I can drag this to fit perfectly. Now, this has to be Cities or City. Here we have the ticket prices, so we could say ticket prices or prices. Let's see. Click. Prices. And if you feel like you have to have this bigger, then you can always change. Okay, and keep the same size more or less. Okay, here we have the chart with all the titles that are necessary here and here. And that was the end of the spreadsheet exam. Okay, bye-bye.